Uh, first off, this is all for a great cause. To Oregon Food Bank, Toys for Tots, Free Geeks. So get in there, donate money right now. It's great. Now, I got to warn you right now, I might do a little bit of stuff that might offend some people out there. So don't go checking your email. Don't go checking YouTube. Stay on here. If you don't like me, donate. If we get $500 by the end of my set, I'm going to get kicked square in the balls. <laughs> for charity. <laughs> Thank you. Howard Stern effect, going for it right now. All right, first off, went to Whole Foods the other day, saw a product called hemp milk. Yeah, hemp milk. As if marijuana could get any better. I just found out it has titties. Yay. <laughs> Love to be the farmer at that dairy farm. Awesome. So I don't drink anymore. I haven't drank since January 12th. It's great. Uh, unfortunately, when I tell people this, they treat it like I have one arm. They look at me and they go, what's that like? How do you have fun? How do you get laid? How do you go fishing? But there are some good things about it. There's a lot of things I don't do anymore, like I don't trip and fall on flat, even ground, which is a plus. Uh, I don't do that thing where you, where you throw up in your mouth and then swallow it and then take a shot afterwards and go, wow, that needed a chaser. <laughs> don't do that. Also, I don't wake up in the morning with a scratch on my face and a Band-Aid in the mirror at head height. That happened a bit too often. Although, it, it kind of sucks, because when I come to my party animal friends and they tell me their war stories from last night, like, oh my god, you should have been there. We had like five beer bongs, smoked a blunt, and I had a bag of mushrooms, and I'm still seeing tracers, man. And, and I got nothing, so I have to come up with something. I'm like, oh yeah, well, last night I went to Arby's and had five roast beef sandwiches for five dollars, and... I'm still pooping mud. I slept on my back wrong the other night, and it's still sore. Uh, <laughs> Although, I do still smoke weed and cigarettes, so I'm kind of a jagged straight edge, I guess you could say. But even then, I can't, I can't say, I can't tell them like, oh yeah? Well, last night, I smoked a bowl. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> freaking square. No, you got to have some amazing story like, oh my God, last night we had these two watermelons, so we made a bowl out of one of them, and we had a PVC pipe stretching to the other watermelon. We called it the barbell, right? And we had a strong man with a handlebar mustache lift it up for us. It was great. Now that is a pot story. All right, moving right along. I uh, went and saw... <laughs> Thank you. I uh, went and saw Glorious Bastards the other day. Great movie. I was a little disappointed, however. Not one positive Aryan Master Race character in the whole film. That's just racist and discriminating people. Although, good thing about it, it did have a lot of Nazi killing. Everybody loves Nazi killing. It's like free dessert at a restaurant. Nobody complains. <laughs> people get more mad when someone kills an animal in a movie. Like, oh my god, they just shot that poor kitten. Oh, that's awful. Dude, weren't you paying attention? That kitten was a Nazi. It was? Yeah! Shoot it again. <laughs> yeah, didn't you see the part? Zig meow. Waka waka. All right, moving right along. <laughs> I love cats. Uh, one of the best things, well, I love cats, but there's one thing about them I can't stand, the fact that they piss and poop all the time. So I'm working on developing my own breed of cat that doesn't piss and poop anymore. I have a prototype right now. It's called a dead cat. You should see Mr. Mittens. He's so well behaved. He just sits there and Let's you pet him. How we doing on the hate aspect out there, internet land? You hate me enough yet? Donate that money. We're going to see some ball kicking by the end of this. Yeah. Did you hear about a co the new uh, cop issue condoms? Yeah, police issue condoms. They're called pigskins. I hear they're great for screwing minorities. Ah, yeah. More hate. If you hate, donate. That's what I'm saying. All right. I uh, went and saw Fiddler on the Roof the other day. Great production. I was a little disappointed, however. Not one positive Aryan Master Race character in the whole film. Still, with the racism people. Okay, moving right along. I Did we hit it? 
Already? We're almost there. We're almost there. I see the numbers. We're only $100 away, people. Get that money going. My balls are getting kicked by the end of this. It is going to be great. Uh, there's a product out that's been out for a while. A lot of people know about it. It's called the Baby Leash. Well, they don't call it that. They call it a toddler bungee or something. But I think it's ridiculous. Shouldn't we embarrass the mom a little bit more by this? Like, shouldn't she wear the leash around her waist with the strap coming out from under the skirt? New age umbilical cord, people. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, just don't be surprised, mom, when little Timmy ends up being into S&M later in life. That was your doing. <laughs> oh, keep it going. Yeah. Uh, baby leashes. Sorry, blinked out for a second. Uh, I was walking out of the mall with my little cousin. He's like five years old. And we saw this lady walking in with her three-year-old on one of those leashes. She was wearing sunglasses. So my little cousin, without even missing a beat, looks at her points and screams at the top of her lungs, Look, Dennis, a seeing eye baby. The mom looks at me, gives me an evil glare like her, you know, and I just kind of wave at her and mouth the word, Sorry. My cousin looks at me like I'm the idiot. He's like, why are you waving? She's blind. I'll wait for that one. Inner web land. <laughs> All right, next, next one. Uh, so there was a Cheeto on the news the other night that was shaped exactly like Jesus Christ. Did you hear about this? Yeah, just more proof that Jesus wasn't white. Hmm. And the second coming of Christ doesn't hail the apocalypse. It just means it's snack time. <laughs> a, few, uh, a few months before this, I see the numbers. We're almost there. We're almost there. A few, few hours or a few months before this, there was a piece of toast on the news that had the face of the Virgin Mary on it. Yeah, I know. Uh, unfortunately, the toast was burnt, so the Catholic Church had to denounce it. Because come on. Black Virgin Mary, <laughs> they're not going for that. Oh, yeah, Virgin Mary was pale-skinned, blue-eyed, and lived in the desert. Whatever you say, Nazi Pope, <laughs> I am with you there. How's the hate? We got that hate? All right. If you hate, donate. I'll say it once more. If you hate, donate. This, speaking of heaven, uh, everyone out there, you know of a game that you played back in middle school called Seven Minutes in Heaven. That's where you get in the closet with someone of the opposite sex and make out for seven minutes, you know. But I think the name of this game kind of set the bar a bit too high, don't you think? Shouldn't it be called seven minutes in a closet with someone else who doesn't know what they're doing either? Maybe seven minutes of dry humping with zipper rash. Or in my case, seven minutes of sitting quietly because she doesn't like you like that. I know, poor me. <laughs> I'm never going to get a date now after this airs. Oh, wait, it's airing right now. I'm not going to get a date as of now. <laughs> All right. Uh, last one, people. And I know what you're thinking watching this. Dennis, you are one classy guy. And you are correct. You're very correct. Uh, when I was 14, I used to fart in empty peanut butter jars, seal them up, and then open them in my best friend's face. Yeah. He was Jewish, so I called that fart shower time at Auschwitz. Oh, he, no, he didn't. Donate that money, folks. <laughs> Donate it. I know, I, I said that joke at a comedy club one time, and a black comedian came up to me. He's like, man, you can't be doing that racial humor. That ain't cool. And I'm like, but man, you do, you do black jokes all the time. That, that, what's the difference? He's like, well, it's different because the black people, they're my people. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. The Nazis are my people. So it's okay. Now, the best way for that joke to end is if someone here in the studio had a gun and just shot me right in the head right now. That way, everyone here and everyone at home could be like, Woo! Nazi killing! Yeah! Unfortunately, then this telethon would be short, one positive Aryan master race character. All right, that's it. Did we, did we make the 500? Did we get it? Did we get it? We did, didn't we? We did. Excellent. Whitney, nope, Virginia, the lovely Virginia Jones is going to do this. Can we pan... Can we pan out? Can we pan out just a little bit so we can see this? Can we pan out just a little bit? No lawsuit. No lawsuit. Okay. Ready? Oh, that was for charity, folks. Donate more money. It's a good cause. 
I hurt myself for it because I'm poor and can't donate myself. Back to you, Rick and Cammie. Slow the camera. Pan. Get Move over the here. camera. Oh, right. look at that. That was right, masterfully good. done. Masterfully done, Rick. Thank you so much. Oh, we're going outside. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I just moved the camera. One more, camera. One more song. All right. Am I sitting uh, down or am I going outside? I'm not quite sure what's happening. Oh, wait, wait, we're going good. All right. But you guys do know that I'm a delicate flower and it's chilly out there. What's on the other end? My mic's on. His mic is So are we walking? What are we doing? Thing. Who's are directing we this spot? Why are we, why did we get stuck outside? What are we doing? Yeah. Were we yeah. bad? Or were we good? Do we get a present? Is there a surprise? Why are we outside on the street corner? Yeah, what's going on? What do you want? What? Can we just wander? Look. Look, there we are. Look. Right there. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Hi, Hi Aaron. How are you doing up there? Oh. Good. All right, we'll get, let's go over here. Okay. See what's going let's on. Let's go for a walk. I don't know Do what we're doing. Do you think this is how we get away from Do you this? think all these people are signing releases? I don't oh, think, I don't think we're going to cross the street. I yeah. think that would be a no-no. Right, so we'll fine. just, look, you tell me if I'm going to hit from the, oh, our tree. Look at the beautiful tree. from tree. the outside. This is nice. This is nice. Oh, look, you the can see. The uh, frosted glass. It, there's no ladies, so we can't see up any skirts, but there's a lot of pants there's up there. people up there. Uh -huh. okay, oh, green done. screen. Green screen. Are we, are we done? I think that this is was one hell of a tour. We could use the uh, elevator. Go up and no, down, no, maybe. that thing scares me. Get really me. close to me. No, you do it. <laughs> no, I just got close to the camera. <laughs> I'm, all right, we're getting a little punchy. It's okay. No, we wait. probably need the fresh air. <laughs> I'm sure people love this shot. Hey, how are you doing? Don't do that. Yeah, I, I told you Merry not Christmas. to. Oh, oh, oh. You were told not to do all the right, thing with fine. the thing. You do it on purpose. We're gonna make Nate trip. We'll I know. Okay, can you <laughs> can God. I do this? 
Can I get this camera. for you? Can I bring Hit this him in? With the tripod. <laughs> I'll just take this in for you. How's that? Does that work for you? You pretend you don't know us. You just walk. You come back here. Yeah. Come back ah, here. That guy will Seriously, talk to us. Seriously, you're going to pretend you don't. We don't know that guy, but he looks like he looks like he'll talk to us. Were you on your way over to see us, or are you just walking down the street? All right, yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, now you're in the shot. Now you have to deal with it. Yeah, but we can't Trouble. hear him. Can we do no. we have the... He... What? <laughs> <laughs> you can lean in uncomfortably hey, with one of great. us. You missed the part where I was cold, so he tried to give me all of his clothing. <laughs> it was great. I was stripping down out here. Yeah, it was the, very uh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, well, it's not that cold out. Not no, bad. but I, I'm wearing like. Do you see the thickness of this shirt? It looks sure. Yeah. See. Well, I'm just okay. saying. Oh. I understand. Well, I. And I'm delicate flower. Yet. And I, I haven't I, slept I, in. How, how long? You're tired. How long has it been? You don't how long have has to it sleep. been since we've slept? It's been 34 hours since I've slept. 34 30, hours, 30, 33, 33 for me. For so. Yeah. I slept in. And we just crossed the 23-hour mark for the actual event. Yeah. Whoa, a little. Oh, yeah, exactly. We're getting punchy. so close. Do you know why we got sent outside? I don't know. Yeah, why are you guys outside? Oh, oh but are we going to toss to them? Are All they right. ready? They're to Kelly for? Shannon and John Stowell. All right. I Take can't read. They're up there. Bye. Bye, have fun. Oh, sorry, go ahead. He's going to shoot. <laughs> I love Brian. He's Good afternoon. Awesome. My name is Kelly Shannon. This is John Stowell. We'll be singing uh, some original jazz for you. Hope you enjoy it. It's nice to be here with 30 Hour Day. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip. We can wine and dine, love, laugh, and ride. We can feel the sand under our feet and be reckless and wild again. Let's set the sail so high. It'll feel just like a magic carpet ride. The places we will slink to, have a drink that we can cling to. Adventures of a lifetime. Not fast by. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip somewhere. Stop. And the spinning of the world is getting to me Like Lewis and Clark felt Like Noah and his ark felt The wheels are made for spinning, not stationary Let's take a trip Let's take a trip Let's take a trip Let's take a trip it's not a waste of time to get out of town and leave your cares behind. The dog and cat will be fine. The boat will make a beeline. Let's take a trip somewhere and get out of town. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip. Let's take a trip somewhere and get out of here. Let's take a trip somewhere and get out of here. Where do you want to go? Go 
go to Brazil just for five minutes. Maybe longer. Be a couple weeks. What John and I are doing is um, I'm reading some poetry or reciting poetry and playing for you at the same time. This is the poetry of a wonderful poet, Tom Taylor. Brazil, 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 boys, Brazil, 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 boys. All night, the cars moved in and out of you. Strange blue-eyed children scurried in pairs under the hand of the evil doctor in his rounds, removing his hand from under a chin, kill him, Brazil, Brazil boy. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil boys. Scorn spilled through them, the arrogance and the tally mounted on the wall charts behind him, a ladder on wheels to get around this grisly statistical monument of control. Brazil, Brazil. 
voice, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. John. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do an original that uh, John wrote. I wrote just one tiny little, little part. It's great to be here with John Stoll, and I'm Kelly Shannon. Thank you for having us. Um, 30 hour day. Uh, call and make your donations, and we shall keep the music coming for you. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
night and stars above that shine so bright the mystery of their fading light that shines upon our caravan sleep upon my shoulder as we creep across the sand so I may keep this memory of our caravan this is so exciting and you Inviting as you're resting in on my arms as I thrill to the magic charms of you beside me here beneath the blue. My dreams of love are coming true. above that shine so bright the mystery of their fading light that shines upon our caravan oh sleep upon my shoulder as we creep across the sand so I may keep this memory of our caravan this is so exciting and you are so inviting as you're resting in and I thrill to the magic charms of you here beside me beneath the blue. My dreams of love are coming true beneath our desert caravan. Do -do -do -do. Nothing real, you know, just a manner of movement. My sweat to your pocket with little in between to make it worth anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
a lesson of exchange you won't forget lining your hands with my blood sweat and fears for all the equality of exchange long since forgotten on the wailing wall of iniquity and the absence of forgiveness for the family hierarchy of them and us laid upon the land like a smothering cloud or a huge black cloak covering Thank you. I'll tell you guys that not only are they really hilarious, they're really hilarious. They're super hilarious. And funny. hopefully later on today, Dr. Normal will be rolling um, a skit that Scotty wrote for Rick and I. Mm -hmm. That we, we we recorded uh, back in Studio B. I don't even remember. I don't even back remember that what far. that studio was called. Remember the studio we used to yeah, record in? Yeah, remember the back little, in the good old days. The little hovel, and we were so we were happy the there. It was better then. Yeah, it was oh, good. Oh, sorry. It was good. Okay, now, so now do we have Curious we Comedy okay. Theater presents Open Mic. Hi. Welcome to the Ha Ha Hole. Uh, thanks for coming to our open mic night. So glad to see everybody. Now our next artist, I understand she has some industry people uh, in the audience tonight. So let's all give her a big hand and good luck. Welcome Stacy. Uh, yeah, tonight's an important night and um, I just want to take one second to thank Brad Donovan, who's here from Warner Brothers um, tonight. Uh, Brad came and saw a set I did earlier this year and gave me some really constructive feedback. And I'm really glad, Brad, thank you so much for coming here tonight and giving me another chance. Uh, I know you thought my material was a little down, <laughs> uh, a little dark. So I've been really working on um, just trying to uh, use that feedback you gave me. So uh, I call this... Um, Number um, in the depths of the sea. <laughs> when you left me, I couldn't breathe. I'm drowning, drowning under the sea. Speaking of the sea, uh, why did the woman cross the road? Why? Who cares? The real question is, why isn't she in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> this sadness will never leave. Not like you who abandon me hey speaking of stuff um why can't helen keller drive why because she's a woman <laughs> <laughs> and perfume because they're ugly and they stink <laughs> oh wait no um wait mr donovan don't go mr donovan wait <laughs> i'd like to say thank you stacy and please continue taking your medication uh <laughs> Okay, next up, we have a small informative announcement from one of our, our sponsors at the Ha Ha Hole. Uh, please welcome Rodney Jordan of Honey Baked Ham. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm 
Rodney Jordan from the Honey Baked Ham Company out on uh, Beaverton Hillsdale Highway. No? Great. Well, uh, corporate asked me to be the entertainment at next week's uh, holiday sales party, so thought I'd bring some of my material out and, and test it on you guys. So, uh, what's the deal with butterball turkey? Do they think an alliterative word like butterball is going to sell a couple of turkeys? Apparently so, because they're out selling us four to one. <laughs> it's a market share joke. Uh, what do you get when you cross a honey-baked ham with a butterball turkey? A delightful meal. The turkey's so good, it makes our product even better. What do you get when your honey-baked ham's made out of tofu? What? It's a sham. <laughs> How many butterball turkey salesmen does it take to screw in a light bulb? All of them. It's, uh, it's, it's not actually that they're stupid, it's just their product is so good it sells itself, so they, they, could, uh, they, they could afford to be stupid if they let's see. So, uh, why did the butterball turkey salesman cross the road? Why? To deliver another butterball turkey, further cutting into our market share. <laughs> knock, knock. Exactly. Who would pay that much for an overpriced ham? <laughs> what do you call a honey-baked ham with pineapple slices on it? What? Porcupine. Bam. <laughs> a honey-baked ham and a butterball turkey walk into a bar. The bartender says to the honey-baked ham, hey, you've got too many unsettled invoices and accounts payable to drink in here. <laughs> Tim in finance wrote that joke. A honey-baked ham, a butterball turkey, and a rabbi walk into a bar. The rabbi has a light turkey snack. I don't want you guys to think I'm just out here slamming my own company, so uh, I'll leave you with this. You can't get swine flu from a honey-baked ham, but you can get salmonella from a butterball turkey. But they taste so dang good, and the risk of contamination is so low that it's, it's, it's actually worth the risk. So... That's my time. Thanks. Oh my God, and she was so embarrassed. Oh my God, what did she do? She got up and she just walked out oh right in front God, of everybody looking at her. It. it was crazy. Uh, up, or should I say Habaragani? Listen, we. We're really just here to enjoy Oh, it. that's all right. I just wanted to stop by and introduce you ladies to a friend of mine. Well, we're just, you know, catching up. We haven't seen each other in a while. It's all right. My friend, uh, you'll like him. Well, we really we just, just want to hang out. Aren't you going to ask me who my friend is? We really just... Aren't you going to ask me who my friend is? Is your friend as creepy as you? Oh, honey, I like a little sass in my eggnog, but let's crank it up later. All right. Who's your friend? His name is Matunda Yakwanza, but everybody just calls him Kwanza. It means first fruits, and I like fruit. Look, buddy, I'm not sure we really want to... I wasn't sure either until I found out it was a week-long holiday. That's the kind of holiday I can bet my bacon on. That's really... I didn't know that. Your friend is a holiday? Not just a holiday. A whole set of principles, like the principle of Umoja which has a striving for unity in the community, nation, family, and race. Okay, that's awesome, but I think Kwanzaa is primarily an African-American holiday. And I said uh, unity in the nation, family, community, and race. It's an all-inclusive holiday, ladies. <sighs> Besides, the uh, self-determination principle has us naming ourselves and nobody else, babies. So, could you stop calling us babies, please? And the spirit of Kwanzaa? Certainly. You know, it reminds me of the Ujima principle, which has us solving our problems collectively, together. Yeah. Our, our boyfriends are going to be back in a minute. So. Do your boyfriends have a drumming circle waiting in their bedroom? You are the creepiest creep I have ever met. Honey, I'm just trying to spread the Imani. Yeah, well, screw your Imani. What's up with her? So, um, do you really have a drumming circle waiting in your bedroom? No, but I've, uh, I've got a rusty 
eight CD and a roommate that likes to watch. <laughs> Disgusting. Come on, I'm just trying to spread the Imani principles. Dance Dance Revolution, the movie, take one. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that your, your wives aren't with you today, is that right? Yeah, um, my, my wife can't be here today. She, I mean, she signed me up for the dance class. Right. And, you know, week three, she, you know, she's already bailed on it. But, you know, here we are. <laughs> So, I mean, we could just take a pass on this one. We'll, well come back next week. No, you guys have, you guys have shown up, and, and I'm here, and you've paid your money, and I really want to see you guys make progress. You know, I, I'm really glad to see you guys committing to the process. I think we should go ahead and have dance class, okay? It's just that we're going to have to, you know, partner you guys up. With other, you have friends that are coming? N no, but I mean. Oh, with each other. One of you is going to have to. One of you is going to have to dance as a lady, and obviously it would be Bob because Scott is too manly to ever be a, a lady. What do you mean, oh. obviously? I, uh, I, I can dream, can I? I have eyes, don't I? Yeah. So let me, let, me, let me help you guys out. Okay, so it, it'll be just like dancing with a lady, um, except for uh, it's you, a man. Put, uh, you put that there, okay. and that looks good. <laughs> okay. uh, now, Scott, you, uh, you, you offer up your hands. Uh, like the lower half of, of crocodile mouth, and in, and your hands are the your hands are the little birds feeding on sitting on top feeding on the mouth. Okay, okay, and then we can, and then we're gonna just do our basic like I Wait showed you, right. and then and then Scott goes forward and Bob goes back and one and cha 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 and two and cha 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 and three and cha 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 and four and cha cha cha. How we doing? This um, is not correct. Um, <laughs> um, no, we were fine. We were, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's, well, that left footwork is tricky. Yeah. Maybe it's the open position is a little too uh, difficult for you guys. So let me let me help you get into closed position. Does that sound all right? Okay. Now, Scott, you put your big manly hand out for Bob to grasp gently, gently. Okay. And then Bob, if you can, he puts his hand on your vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebra, and then you put your hand on his big manly shoulder, okay? And so um, now this is called closed position, and it's a, a, a ballroom standard. Okay, let's try our same basic. Uh, Bob goes back, Scott goes forward. Oh, yeah. Bob goes back on his right, because the lady's always right, am I right? Yeah. Okay, and <laughs> one, and cha-cha-cha, two, and cha-cha-cha, and three, and cha- Hi, oh my lord! You said- You're you happily- forward. I thought you were ha happily married of men. Of course we are, but we are in a dance studio right now. Okay, I can see this is not working out. Okay, I will, I will partner Bob. Now, Bob, yep. because you're such a slight gentleman, you are still going to be the lady. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. And boom, and cha-cha-cha, and uh, and cha-cha-cha. I, cha, I have a question. I, you know, I, I'm... I'm more comfortable with him leading. Yeah, and, and I didn't pay $95 to watch this teacher dance with a student. Yeah. I hope you're very happy together. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile Dundee 3, What the Croc, scene 14. <laughs> Is that okay? I know everything went a little faster than thought. Uh, you can uh, you can thank Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Julio for uh, for missing class because she's nine months pregnant, about to give birth, and I hope um, it takes a long time because I need the money. <laughs>
I'm just talking to myself. Is this better? Is this not? No? I'm just going to. Okay. That, see what it was? It's, it's all right. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, no. Stay here. Stay here. Can you tell me what your, uh, your Spanish word was that you know? Gordo. Don't be intimidated. Don't be. It's scary. I know. For the first time, it's scary. But now, it, now we're working. Now we're on. It was like a good minute of me just talking to n- and saying nothing. <laughs> Weird. Like who's that guy in the in the sweater vest just talking? Like, weird. That's all right. Here I am to fill you in on your Spanish, Espanol dose. Right, gordo is the word that you suggested. Gordo. See, when I was first before I became a a, a, a student teacher, uh, I was in the Merchant Marines and we would march around a lot. You know, a lot of marching, a lot of sword play. And I live in a uh, in a casa flotante behind the Taco Bell. That's a houseboat uh, <laughs> behind the Taco Bell. And I learned a lot of my Spanish from those good gentlemen at the Taco Bell. And, and gordo actually means uh, American, from my understanding. <laughs> from my understanding, it means American. Cool. So any other Spanish words? Anybody know any Spanish words around here? Any Pantalones. Pantalones. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, you see... While in the Merchant Marines, I toured this country, this great nation of ours, all over. And, uh, and in the South, there's a lot of, uh, of, of, of places uh, to, to eat and to dance. And I fancy myself a dancer. Uh, most of these places didn't allow me to wear pantalones, <laughs> which is socks that go on under your shoes. Socks. Uh, other uh, Espanol words. Burrito. Burrito. Oh, that's a fun one. Another one that we get a lot at the Taco Bell burrito. Um, anything ending in Edo means smaller. Just like, and it's easy to remember that. You can just think of the Jackson 5. Tito was the smaller one. <laughs> and, and burro actually means donkey. So when you're eating a burrito, you're eating a smaller donkey. I just want you to know that. I just want you to remember that. That's what's happening. All right. Well, uh, if there's any, are there any more uh, Spanish words that anybody knows needs a uh, definition of? Doesn't. S- I'm sorry. No, I heard what you said. I'm just sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well, I think that's. I think I'm done here. So class, we'll we'll come back together tomorrow and we'll get to know more Spanish words. Thank you for your time. Planeando un rubble un banco. Esperanzo. Uh, Robo de un banco. No, 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 no tiempo. No tiempo? No tiempo de rubble un, un banco. Ay, caramba. Ay, uh, rubble, no, no, uh, no rubble de un banco. Ay, caramba. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. Slow Paul Rodriguez. mine grew Lederhosen. Santana. <laughs> See. Taco, See. Taco time. Donde esta el banco? Jenny Lopez. Jenny Lopez. <laughs> In, inflamed flugelinda from. Uh, from flugelinda. Uh, Meine Lungen. Andachspielda. <laughs> Middle-aged drag queenia. <laughs> See. It's <laughs> cool. Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you, Aaron. Um, we have not been keeping an eye on the dollar values recently, but we have been keeping an eye on the clock. And we have now officially gone over 24 hours. <laughs> Thanks to all of you who've helped with that and all the people who've donated during the time. The other thing is, strangely enough, all the sponsors wanted to buy the last few hours when they thought we would be cracking up. So, uh, <laughs> Why the, is that funny, guys? That's so weird. But the first sponsor that um, is buying into that last kind of time frame is Icon Factory who, um, I don't know if you guys have seen their stuff before, but they make a little thing called Twitterific that you use on, on the Twitter. Twitters. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. You should check it out. And besides that, they make some awesome icons. I've yeah. had the chance to work with them uh, in the past doing both custom icons and buying some of their stuff. And they're just an amazing company, really smart, do some really pretty stuff. And, uh, and we're very honored to have them contribute to 30 Hour Day. They came in right at the last minute with a substantial donation. So thank you guys. We so, really appreciate it. Oh, Yay, I contact you. Beautiful. OK, now we're going to go over to Miriam Fader, who you can find out more at miriamfader.com. And she's going to do a reading for us. What is Hanukkah all about? Hanukkah is the festival of socks. Each year, the great booby comes to the foot of each child's bed and takes a sniff. Oh, gotten you. What a smell. I can tell you need new socks, you little stinker. So, all over the world, at Hanukkah, children get socks to replace the old worn-out stinky socks from last Hanukkah. Now you know. Now we understand our non-Jewish neighbors a bit better. They always like to borrow our traditions. They adjust them a little bit. So they hang their stockings on the hearth. Their great booby likes to go in drag and has a yen for fireplaces. Same, same. Socks connect us all with the warmth of the season. What is Hanukkah all about? Nuts. This is what we want on Hanukkah. The earth has given us nuts, nuts of the season. We use them to play and play with our dreidel. Nuts of all kinds, with their pretty little wooden houses, round mahogany homes for filberts, thin crowded pecans, crammed with sweetness, stout, comfortable walnut shells. We can play Hanukkah games, and then they can become horoses for Pesach. What is Hanukkah all about, really? Chocolate. We celebrate Hanukkah to appreciate how good the world is when there are eight days in a row of chocolate at our table. We have chocolates to share, to give, more importantly, to eat. We even have chocolate to drink. We wrap up some into pretty little pieces of paper, and then we spin the dreidel, and hopefully we roll a gimbal and win all the chocolate. That's what I did. I have to spin again before my dreidel cools off. But why is chocolate important? Well, it's the most delicious thing of all. It's rich and warm. It can be wrapped in beautiful paper. 